So you would think I would know how to use scissors. Ta-da! That's the fast way. I'm Carmion Hamilton, interior designer, blogger, content creator, and HGTV's Design Star Next Gen winner. I'm on a mission to elevate my bar with some simple crafts that you can finish in the time it takes to drink one cocktail. We're gonna make some hand-dyed napkins and to sip on, let's make a salty chihuahua. It's one of my faves. Let's get to these napkins. I really wanted to hand dye some cloth napkins. One, it'll make my bar very pretty. Two, my guests will feel very special. So when people think dyeing, I'm sure a lot of you are thinking tie dye, but I mean, hello, do I look like a tie dye girl? No. We're going to be doing something a little bit more modern, a little bit more with the times, a little more elevated. And we're using super basic materials, store-bought fabric dye. Just follow the instructions on the package. I have some cloth napkins. These are just cotton. I'm not soaking mine first because I don't want the dye to bleed everywhere. We're being very intentional on where we're putting this color. I have some plexi plates. So you can use coasters, glass, anything that's not cloth to help you on this little craft. I would like to create more of a geometric pattern. I don't want to dye the whole napkin. And that's what my plexi is gonna help me do. Block some of that dye. This one's done. Let's fold another one. We're going for something modern. So I'm not gonna be dunking the whole napkin. I wanna leave a ton of white space to have some contrast. So we're just gonna dip like the edges. Manicure protected. And I'm gonna start with the triangle. And since I'm only gonna dip the edges, I'm gonna move my clips a little bit so I get a little more edge. First dunk. Oh my goodness. Cotton is already soaking up the dye, so we're getting like a shibori effect. All right, this one is an experiment. I am usually a type A. I need it even on all sides. I don't know what's gonna happen with this, what pattern we're making, but we're going for it because we're cocktailing, we're crafting. It's gonna be pretty. Ooh, the plexi is working. Last one. I'm gonna clean up, let these dry. Enjoy a few sips of my cocktail, and then we'll see how these have turned out. Mm -hmm. All right, it's time for the big reveal. Let's see how these look. Oh my gosh, look at this. I mean... This took the same amount of time it took to drink one cocktail. Mine only need an iron to set the color, but for yours, just check the box. Whatever your instructions say, just follow that. 
These are gonna look so good when I style them on my bar.